Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing a Witch's Box unboxing. Um, yeah, my nails are horrible. I haven't done them. And I don't look so cute just because I haven't. I went to go and get my eyebrows threaded today and my little baby mustache and my little goatee because I am, I'm not going to go bald anytime soon because I have very good jeans. And so I didn't do my makeup because I knew I was going to go and get my, I, w I knew I was going to go and get waxed. So I have a very, very natural face today. No makeup whatsoever, no products other than I think I have some sunscreen and some moisturizer and a little bit of brow gel. But, um, excuse the face, my hair is all messed up. <sighs> today, uh, it's my son's birthday on Monday. So my brother-in-law rented a jumper and we were outside all day. We were on the jumper. I went to get my eyebrows done. Um, so yeah, I'm finally here. I'm finally doing a video on the witch's box for the month of April. I, I think I've had this box since either Thursday or Friday. I just haven't opened it because I was waiting to be able to do a video without so much noise in the background. And we've been celebrating my son's birthday since 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 Saturday um, so we had Saturday Sunday and I was hoping usually I try to mainly do them on the weekends do my videos on the weekends because my husband can keep them entertained um, but it didn't happen just because we were all together the entire weekend um, but right now it's the perfect time okay all I know for this month it's um, the element air that we're going to be working with so uh let's go ahead and get this open like always we have our book of shadows and our front page that tells us what um what we're going to be getting and then my tarot card is swords. Hmm, okay. All right. I know swords means air, which I believe. Oh man, I know I studied this one when I was studying tarot. I, I'm still studying it. I just took. I'm taking a very long break. Um, the only one I remember very well is um, cups. But after cups, I know cups is element water. It means it's it, it's towards emotions. I know I read about wands and swords. I think I left off on sword and I read wand. Yeah, I left off on sword. So I don't remember, unfortunately, right now. Which makes me want to go back to my tarot to remember. We continue my tarot, my tarot learning journey. Oh, oh I hope you're not real. Okay, this kind of scared me for a minute there. So we have a little moth looking, which I understand it represents air um, because of the wings. I am terrified of moths especially some that would be this big um a while back when i went on a trip to mexico um i swear there was it was like an old little town i i go del oro something gold oro was the name of the town um and we went to go through some tunnels and just uh, it's a, a terra it's a touristy area um but I swear there was a moth on the door, a real life moth about this big. And I remember I had mentioned it to my cousins, which they were the ones that were take they were guiding us and where to go. And like, yeah, it's real. Dude, if a moth that big would get close to me, I will freak. I oh, it gives me the chills. It gives me the chills. But they are pretty. I mean they're pretty. You have to admit they're pretty, especially the ones that have the little antennas with a bunch of little wispy feathery antennas. They're very, very pretty. But that doesn't mean they don't freak me out. 
Okay, and then we have a yellow cloth. Okay, we have a yellow cloth. I believe yellow also represents um, air. Um, this might be for the for an altar. I'm not gonna take it all apart because it's just gonna be a yellow cloth. We have a white candle. We have dandelion, which if I open, yeah, dandelion, I open and it looks like that, very green. It smells almost almost not too sure and then we have two blue um, feathers and they have glitter on it we have two blue feathers a light blue and a dark blue okay. We have some rosemary. Oh, without opening it, I can almost smell it. If anyone's never seen rosemary, it's a bunch of little, it looks like little twigs, but it's actually a bush and it's really easy to grow and it grows in abundance, um, usually. I think my mom's dried, dried or is drying, but yeah, then we have some rosemary and, ooh, what babe? You get all my food. Oh my goodness, leave it right there at your table, please. I'll pick it up right now. And then least but definitely not last, we have air magic. We have a book, Elements of Witchcraft by... Astria Taylor Air Magic Interesting I started reading a while well, when we got the water one I started reading it and it had a lot of its history so it had a bunch of different histories um, regarding water and what it signifies and it was actually very interesting I never finished the book um, I still have it in my stuff um, just because I started reading a different book, but it is very interesting and We have this one. Um, I think I'm gonna use my tarot card as my bookmark Because I started doing that with my other books um, And I think it's perfect. I don't know why I didn't start doing this or sooner Because I know I was using some as bookmarks with different books But not with the books that they gave me because I haven't started. I haven't started reading all of them and that is all. That is the entire thing that's inside the box. Just trying to be fast and quiet because I do not want to wake up my son and I do not want my husband getting out of the shower before I'm done because then I get all shy about it. But let's see. First of all, it says, the first one, it says, air in the, ta in the tarot, in the tarot of suits, swords is, in the tarot, the suits of swords is governed by the element of air. The entire suit do, delineate, delineates a set of lessons and themes of a person's gr personal growth and a day to, and a day-to-day -day divination. The following are the correspondence. Um, simple swords, knives, daggers, theme, intelligent communication. Huh. I'm gonna have to check my book to see exactly what it means to my book. But right there, I guess it means um, communication, intellect. But I know it means something else. I'll figure that out. And then we have. A book of shadows for rosemary and then one for dandelion 
and it gives you the for the body of what it's what it's good for the methods of usage and the magical usage um yeah both of these can be taken as tea just so you know and then once again like always I am going to read the witch's box um, information thingamajigger and if I stutter, if I cannot get through it without saying um too much or without questioning every other word that I'm reading, then I'm probably not going to post the entire part of me reading this thing. But it says, the witch's box April 2021 air magic box. Dearest magical souls. Here we are. This is our second box in the elemental series. We started with the first element of witchcraft book put out by Le Winling? Okay, I can't read that. Last November we focused on water and were so fortunate to leave to have Lilith Dorsey, the author, join us for the deep dive gathering. You can watch the rec the recording by following the link in the form. This month this this month, the air book by Astria Taylor is being released, and you all can get to have it. This box is all air. The herbs are... How do you guys say herbs? Is it herbs or herb? I've heard both ways, but I don't know which one's the correct way. Uh, this month, the air book... Okay. This box is all air. The herbs are ruled by air and the rest of the items in this box are some of the items that she mentioned in the in the book. The oracle card used to send the oracle cards used to send you all are of the suit of swords which are also ruled by air. I knew that. I encourage you all to read as much of the book as you can so that when we gather with Astria Taylor you can get the most out of the experience. Uh, inside the box, we have an air, air magic element of witchcraft, which is the book, um, an altar cloth, that's what I thought, which is this, the little altar cloth, um, one candle, a butterfly, this looks more like a moth, but it's a butterfly, either way, they both freak me out. Did you guys know that, well, I learned this in elementary and I've never looked it up, but supposedly butterflies like to lick turtles' eyes because they're salty. It's gross. Um, so one butterfly, but looks like a moth. One which is pocketary bag of rosemary. Rosemary. Um, one a pocketary bag of dandelion. Dandelion. Uh, one oracle card, which I have as a bookmark, um, Rosemary Book of Shadows page, Dandelion Book of Shadows page, and one in the one Book of Shadows page about the tarot card. I didn't say anything about the feathers. Oh, yes. And this is feathers. Alright. So, yes. We have everything. Um yes so it's 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 we're studying elements and that's already two of the elements first was water now it's air we have earth and fire left and maybe spirit but i don't know we're gonna be doing a spirit um but yes that is lovely i know wands is fire because that is creativity and inspiration um it's the fire that gets you going and that it burns and like your creativity just flares. So what is, I'm gonna have to read my books. I can't remember. Um, but yes, this is all we got for the month of April. Thank you very much for watching. I have more unboxing videos for the witch's box subs subscription box subscription. Um, that is the only witchy thing I'm subscribed to. I have been subscribed to other stuff in the past, but I decided to cancel those and just stick with this one since I feel this one gives me the most. And I feel it, I feel like I prefer this one over the ones that I had, even not that the other ones were bad or anything. It's just, I find it very informative and it makes me very happy. So yes, um, 
yeah, if you're interested in watching any of my other videos regarding the witches box, I have a whole list of them on um, on my YouTube page. So you can check that out. If you're interested in makeup, in trying out makeup, in reviewing makeup, and talking about makeup, then go ahead and check out my other videos, which a lot of it is makeup. Um, if you like any of my content please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe it would mean a lot to me um it's my hobby and it's fun and i like it and my nails are ugly but yes uh see you guys later good luck with whatever you're working on and yeah thank you very much for watching bye